<clears throat> so <clears throat> this is the scene that I'm working with in 3ds Max. I'm using a, a character craft director studio in order to uh, animate a vehicle. Um, it's a lot of stuff to this, um, a lot of unique stuff that you can do with this. Um, let me run it for you. Yeah, not a very good driver. I should have um, took the viewpoint of the. Um, sitting behind the wheel. <coughs> uh, I did the overhead view and I was uh, rather slow. Well, I wasn't. My computer is. My uh, CPU isn't up to part of running this stuff. I have a cheap rinky dink laptop. Right, right. Let me try that from another view. See if we can, uh, I'm going to set a camera up here. I want a camera right about here. When it comes out into the street, I can put one in this uh, location. Um, I'm hooked on V-Ray. V-Ray is not, I repeat, not a uh, part of 3DS Max. Uh, you got to pay some additional stuff to get that in there. Anyway, when it comes out here, I want to show you uh, how it interacts with the um, objects that are in your scene. You can uh, specify what object you want stuff to bounce off of. And with the um, built-in features of uh, 3ds Max, Mass Effects uh, to be exact, you can get away with some pretty good, uh, interesting stuff. Pretty interesting stuff. Yeah. So you get this guy coming around this corner real quick, and then I have to cut. Because my CPU, CPU sucks. Um, in order to run this, I, I'm up to the uh, realization that I need at least 32 gigs of RAM. Um, and the latest processor on the market is the i7, but that's for that's for commercial use, right there. See, so you get the boop, boop, boop. He's up on the sidewalk and stuff. I like that. They say i7 is the, um, is, is the that is the latest processing unit out on the market uh, but they have a uh, better stuff you better believe it as soon as I get my hands on three grand I'm going to give me a few items that can uh, get my production running better